at 2011 Bioneers in Detroit. We're with Claire, and she has uh, a consulting uh, uh, company called Chrysalis Transitions. And uh, there we have a chrysalis transitioning, uh, even as we speak here. Claire, how are you today? I'm great. How are you, Ron? I am doing wonderfully. Um, I wanted to talk about a little bit about uh, chrysalis transitions and the work that you're doing. Yes. Um, and uh, why don't you give us an overview of, of what your organization is? It's a business, correct? It is a business. It's brand new. And um, I would say that it's a facilitation and consulting, sort of, but I'm not quite sure I understand that word or feel com comfortable with it. It's facilitating. Um, basically, what it is about is helping people to find their voices by listening and by, um, in the work of the group work, there's two forms of group work. One is with using the films of Brian Swim, the um, universe story, and that is to help people to begin to grow their their idea of their own beginnings to back to the 15 billion years so they understand how old they actually are. Cosmology. Yes. He's a mathematical cosmologist and has a wonderful several film series that I like to use to begin community conversations so that we can grow our sense of our identity as Earth inhabitants um, way beyond our consumer culture and um, expand our sense of time uh, to include things like ancestors and legacy and what we leave to future beings. Um, the other form of group work that I'm doing is based on the work that I've learned through Joanna Macy. I've been, she's been my mentor for many years now, over a decade. For those who are not familiar with Joanne Macy's work, could you give us uh, just an overview, share an overview? Well, very quickly, because she's a very, um, she has a long legacy herself, but yes. she's a, a Buddhist scholar, a deep ecologist, and actually what I would say most primarily, she's an engaged person. And she's a fierce lover of life and of humanity and life on this planet. And um, she advocates for people finding their voices and understanding that their feeling response to the world today is valid, important, and is a resource for them, not only for finding their um, power and their initiative for making the necessary changes, but also for re-identifying themselves as part of a radical, interconnected way of being on this world that includes the other than human world. Uh, realms, so that our sense of identity is more communitarian on an earth level. We are members and members of a vast community of living on this planet that is at this point dependent on us waking up to realize that we have an untapped potential as human beings. We are earth consciousness in self-consciousness. We are decision makers. We're choice makers. And so far our choices have been pretty self-involved and not very conducive to supporting the life support system that we evolved out of. Now the great turning, is that not a Joanne, Joanna Macy? Joanna Macy is, um, was one of the the first people to use that term. And what does that mean? Just uh, again, kind of an overview. I'm asking yeah. you to take very complicated, complex, interesting concepts and, yes. uh, and you know, kind of bring them, them for you. yeah, distill them down. Yeah. Just, okay. so, just the so people, if they've heard that term, but they're not quite sure how it fits into social change and evolution. And mm -hmm. um, well. Um, David Corton has writ written a book on called The Great Turning, which has the endorsement of Joanna Macy. She's the first person I heard use the term, and she's talking about it as the time that we will um, think of it this way. We really have to make huge changes in our culture and in our world in order to preserve what's here and in order to build new structures and in order to re-establish values that work as members of Earth community. The Great Turning is a way to frame this particular time that we're living in that will someday be looked back on by future beings as those who lived here. We are the ancestors of future beings. And as 
ancestors in the making. What is it that we are creating? And when Joanna talks about the great turning, she talks about holding actions, the, the actions we take that will help preserve um, lives as well as the gene pool and um, any actions we take, whether it's attending a hearing or whether it's attending to the sick, it, it doesn't matter. What those are holding actions. Another dimension, equally important, is coming up with new structures, understanding the structures that have been in place and changing the structures when they don't work for us, when they don't serve life. It's moving from the industrial growth society, which is on runaway and killing us all, into the life-sustaining community of the future, the life-sustaining society that we need to create. So in order to pull all that together and hold it together, once we come up with these new structures, we we also need to change our values and our belief systems so that, so that it can support those structures. Otherwise, they'll be too flimsy and fragile. So as we develop um, using science and the traditions that we came out of, the spiritual traditions we came out of, combining the two of those to come up with a beautiful and elegant way to reposition ourselves in the Earth community, not as isolated and separate from the rest of the Earth community, but as, as integral beings who are beautiful beautifully wanted by Earth, otherwise we would have never been created, and living into that full potential with all the beauty and dignity and um, decency that we're capable of. Great. So that's the great turning. Thank you. Nice job. So, Claire, Chrysalis Transitions works with both individuals and with uh, businesses or groups. Yes. Is that correct? How can people uh, find out more about Chrysalis? They can go to my website, which is um, chrysalistransitions.com, and you okay. probably want to be careful how you spell chrysalis. It does have an H and a Y. <laughs> um, uh, they could also um, find me um, through the website and email me, and I'll be glad to get in touch with them. Great. So, um, yeah, I'm willing to work with anyone. I'm interested in, in working with corporations as well as in, in small businesses as they start to think about sustainability and what does it mean to be, partake as a business in the Great Turning. And I'm interested in helping um, smaller localized communities in positioning their work around a, a, ch a similar change in values around what it means to be human and alive at this time of great crisis but great opportunity. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Ron.